Hello YouTube! Today we are going to be taking a look at the Twisby Eco Fountain Pen. Starting off, uh, you'll notice, uh, probably the first thing you'll notice about the Twisby Eco is that it is longer than it is wide. Uh, this helps in writing, it helps in holding it upright in such a way that, that you can put ink onto uh, whatever writing surface you're working with. Uh, most people like to use paper. Uh, I prefer paper as well. Uh, I know there are others that, uh, that, uh, uh, that well, they might not use paper. Um, don't want to speak in absolutes, so I'm not going to say that paper is the only thing that this is used for writing on. Um, as you can see, it's got a uh, silver uh, nib uh, where uh, there's an ink thing uh, here uh, that puts the ink into here, um, and it puts then it goes onto the paper from the pen, uh, or you know again whatever writing surface uh, you feel most comfortable with. Uh, when it comes to fountain pens, uh, you know it's all about personal preference. Uh, um, so, uh, I'm not going to do an unboxing. I've had this pen for about two weeks now. Um, haven't really had any issues with it, but I do want to show you, uh, the box. Um, so, here's the box. Now, as you can see, it comes with a little satanic, uh, message here. I'm not sure what that means. Um, haven't quite looked it up. Um, but, you know, it does look kind of scary. It looks kind of, uh, spooky, so... You know, all you conspiracy theorists out there, uh, leave comments below uh, on, on what you think that means. Um, now, we'll take this out. We'll take this out. We'll take it out. So as you can see, we've got the name of the pen written on the box that the pen comes in. This is very convenient. Uh, so that way, you know what you're getting into before even opening the box. Um, so let's open the box. Uh, it comes with a little flappy here that tells you some picture things. Uh, and then another little flappy here that tells you some more picture things. So, uh, basically, uh, uh, unscrew and screw. Um, that's cool. Uh, now, one very cool thing about the Twisby Eco fountain pen is it comes with a wrench. Now, I've found that this wrench doesn't work on anything except for the pen, so that's a little disappointing. Um, but hey, at least it comes with a free wrench. I don't know of many products that come with a free wrench, probably outside of, uh, you know, desk chairs, um, uh, you know, buildable furniture from Walmart, uh, Costco, places like that. Um, so anyway, there's the wrench. Uh, as you can see, it's also longer than it is wide, uh, which makes it very convenient for, you know, turning the things that the wrench turns, uh, which I've found to be uh, solely uh, just this part of the pen. You can't use it to pull any other part off the CD. Even this, it looks like maybe a wrench would fit that, uh, but this one absolutely does not. Um, so, a little disappointing there, but that's okay, uh, because, um, you know, my fingers are perfectly fine for, uh, for pulling that cap off. So, on to the, to the, to more box. So, it comes with a little bottle of, uh, of silicone grease, as you can see, silicone grease. Um, oh, and there it is too in English, conveniently. Um, now, one very important thing here is please read the instructions on this bottle before uh, using it, uh, because I, I dripped some into a cup of coffee. Uh, on, on purpose, I just didn't read the instructions. It just looked like it might go well in a cup of coffee. Uh, and I was on the toilet for about four hours, uh, just trying to get it out of my system. Um, I also used it as, uh, as an eye drop. Uh, I had to go to the hospital. Uh, I spent about six hours there um, just uh, getting poked and prodded and, and you know, uh, it sucked. Um, anyway, so get a little further into this box here. So the, it comes with a little um, a little foam thing. I'm not really sure what that's for, uh, but I have found it useful for uh, you know putting the pen in, putting the wrench in, and then putting the grease in. 
And then if I want to, uh, if I want to box the pen back up, there you go. I only have to put one thing back in the box. Uh, and I'll demonstrate how to do that here because I, kn I know you're probably wondering. Well, how do you get it all back in the box? Well, here we are. Mm. That is that is not that is not working as well as I wanted it to originally. Uh, uh, okay, there that well that that's there you go. There is uh, there's the box. So let's do an unboxing. Let's pretend this is brand new. Isn't that fun? Oh look. Oh, that's nice. Check it out. Cool. So uh, one thing I, I bet you're all wondering is how does this pen write? Uh, well, it's actually got a very interesting mechanism. Um, most pens, uh, they just the you know the ink just comes out when you drag it across paper. This one is really interesting because uh, if you want to write bold, uh, you can. Um, so here's here's what we're gonna here's what we're gonna do. I'll show you how I like to write with this pen. Um, and this again brings back into uh, the um, picture, uh, what do you like to write on? Some people like to write on paper. Uh, I can demonstrate that now. Just, uh, we'll, we'll use the standard, um, we'll use the standard method. I'm left-handed, so fuck me. Um, let's see. Here, I'll just show you guys. My handwriting is really terrible. Um, See, uh, very smooth ink flow, uh, uh, very smooth uh, surface uh, when it comes to nib v paper. Now this is a moleskin journal, uh, so it's very expensive, but it's also a piece of garbage. Um, so here, let's see. I'll just, I'll just rip that out. There we go. Um, so as you can see, the ink has dried fairly quickly. I am using uh, Noodler's. Uh, um, bla uh, bla um, black dark matter, black dark matters. Um, now, the other method for writing with this pen uh, is really interesting here, and I'll, I'll show you. So what we want to do uh, is we're basically going to push this piston filler down and uh, and let the ink sort of flow out. I haven't mastered this, um, but I am going to, well, we'll give it a shot here. So just start pouring that out. So, S, that's pretty good. Um, and then, uh, and let's, uh, let's uh, move, oh, fuck. Um, just a little further here. So as you can see, uh, the handwriting is a lot less clear when you do it this way, uh, but it's still a lot of fun, and it uh, it's a it's a good conversation starter. You know, maybe there's a, maybe there's someone at work that you really want to impress. Um, well, there you go, there you have it. Uh, impress away. Um, so uh, that's that's my review on the Twisby Eco Fountain Pen. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, have a great day, and remember to like and subscribe.